Hey everyone, I'm Puri. Welcome to episode one of the Road to 6 Gigahertz. In today's episode, I'm going to show you the components of this configuration, which I'm calling Project Scuba Raptor, and then I'll show you the initial build progress. Here's the BOM for this build. These are the hardware components, and these are the cooling components. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove the stock bracket. Keep some force on the bracket so it doesn't pop up like it did for me here. All right, the next step is to insert the CPU. I'm gonna take it out of my Z790 Hero, retire this bad boy, and now it's going into the Apex. All right, now we've got the chip in place. I'm gonna place the contact frame over it and fasten it down. Now we got nice even pressure holding the chip down. Now I'm gonna open up this water block and install it onto the CPU. I'm using a Bixky Ice Dragon. I got it off AliExpress and it's a full copper plated CPU block. So here it is, nice and heavy. Finishing looks really nice on it. Surfaces are very clean. <clears throat> the middle portion is acrylic. And here you can see the full copper surface. Before I throw that on, I'm going to apply my thermal interface material, and I'm using AlphaCool Apex Thermal Grease. All right, moving on to the NVMe block. I'm gonna open it up here. You can take a look at it. The M2 goes in between this metal frame and the block, and there will be thermal pads in between. There is a thermal pad there from the factory. I had to remove it to fit the block here. Notice the labeling on the box. <laughs> Got a good laugh out of that. Very heavy, nice and shiny, nice finish, well constructed, very happy with it. Next up are the custom heat spreaders. These are also Next up are the custom heat spreaders. These do require you to remove the factory heat spreaders and I've created a how-to video linked right here. Next up, we have the AlphaCool Nexos XT45 1260mm radiator. This thing is a behemoth as you can see. Here are a couple rough measurements. Just about 17 and a quarter inches there. And nearly 17 the other way. And here are the 200 millimeter Noctua NF820 Chromax Black fan. Extreme quality and craftsmanship. The build quality is just unbelievable. I am applying the shock pads here. An issue I had with this set is that they're 30 millimeters thick. Most standard mounting screws are made for 25 millimeter thick fans. So the 30 millimeter mounting screws that are included with the AlphaCool Nexos XT45 do not fit these Noctua NFA20s. So what I had to do was go online and try to find 35 millimeter mounting screws and it turns out they're not that easy to find and the only place I could get them quickly was through a site called Mod My Mods which is where I actually bought the radiator itself too so if you're planning to do a setup with these fans just keep that in mind so I'm unable to mount the fans I have overnighted the mounting screws 
but I've hit a stopping point. So that's gonna do it for me here in episode one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or feel free to join my Discord, which is linked in the video description. You can also visit my website, purology.com to submit video requests or build help requests. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe for more content like this and stay tuned for episode two. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.